The idea of ghost stories for me was how do you let the things that happened to you in the past, your ghosts, how do you let them affect your present and your future? Because there was a time when I was feeling like they were going to drag me down and kind of ruin my life and the lives of those around me. And I was very lucky to meet a really good uh, Sufi teacher who started to introduce me to the idea of if you sit with your experiences and the things you've been through, they alchemize. Mm. And at the time he said that, I was like, I don't really know what that means, mm. but I trusted that it would work. And the more that I was learning about that, the more music just started flowing through. The way that we and I wanted to put it together was to be the journey from looking at everything you're going through in your life, be it good or bad or you know whatever, and thinking, am I going to run away from it? Am I going to blame for it? Am I going to deny it? Am I going to self-medicate? Um, or is there a way that by you know really digging, di opening yourself right up to it, that you might actually get to a more joyful place? Mm. So for me, the what the what ghost stories means to me is like you've got to open yourself up to l love, and if you really do, of course it'll be painful at times, but then it will be great at some point. You have to trust the universe. Like it's okay. Mm. I don't really mind what anyone says about mm. this album because it's just the truth. <laughs> you know, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like it's, like, it's as true as my nose. So it, some people have real problem with my nose. What can I do? Yeah, work. <laughs> <laughs> no one really knows where songs come from. Yeah. And for all the technique in the world, sometimes you just don't get any good ones. Yeah. I've got. I've been given that gift from the universe or from God or whatever mm. you want to believe in, mm. that ideas for songs get sent to me through wherever they get sent from. Well, I think in life everyone needs to be broken in some way. Mm. To, uh, to, to um, there's a Japanese art form called kintsukuroi, where you where they smash a piece of pottery but then put it back together with uh, gold. <laughs> and I think everyone in their life goes through challenges, whether it's love or money or kids or illness, and. Um, certain poets there's like the poet Rumi there's this writer called Viktor Frankl if you read their work they, they talk about like you have to really not run away from that stuff for one reason or another everything going on in real life and the way that we see the world it's like there's no point in being anything other than completely open and honest realisation yes that you can't escape what life's going to throw at you so just you know, just enjoy it. <laughs> Insecurity and stuff doesn't make any sense. And it affects your loved ones because they feel like, you know. If you don't let love really in, then you can't really, you know, give it back. Like I said, if you don't open yourself up, then you can't appreciate the wonder outside. So you can be with someone very wonderful and not, and because of your own issues, I don't want to get too personal. Sure. Because of your own issues, you cannot let that be celebrated in the right way. And uh, it's, uh, yeah. I don't want to go through life being scared of it, being scared of love, being scared of rejection, being scared of failure. I write music as a diary. I write it to survive and to make sense of everything. Yeah. It's a gift that I I'm so grateful for. The Buddhist stuff is like everything that happens to you is what's supposed to be happening to you. Hmm. So just relax. Okay, I re I understand what I understand what I'm supposed to be understanding, which is that life is beautiful in all its colors. Um even the darker ones, they're, they're here for a reason. I get it. And so I was like, I wish I could get a song which where I could express that I get it, okay. And let's just celebrate the good 
moments while they're happening and be grateful for everything. And then um, I was at the piano and uh, this song just like fell out, just came right through. But I love this quiet, heartbreaky song, but I love the euphoria, the togetherness. It's like life is so scary. There's planes going missing, there's people getting shot, there's wars going on. It's like anytime you can get thousands of people in a field jumping up and down, that is fucking, that's the most beautiful feeling. Yes. very grateful for every day on earth. I really do. Um, and uh, so I don't know what's next. I, d I just feel grateful to be alive.